Question T10.1. Anne claims that a store brand fertilizer works better than homemade compost as a soil enhancement when growing tomatoes. To test our theory, she plants two tomato plants in each of five planters. One plant in each planter is grown in soil with store brand fertilizer and the other plant is grown in soil with homemade compost with the choice of soil determinant random. In three months, she will harvest and weigh the tomatoes from each plant. Which of the following is the correct confidence interval and should use to analyze the data? <clears throat> All right, uh, so the first thing I wanna point out is that when, she's, when Anne is planting these tomatoes, she's planting two plants in each planter, <clears throat> okay? Um, so like, let's say that here's a planter, right? She's gonna plant two plants in that planter. Two plants in that planter and so on, okay? Now, one of the plants is going to be given the store brand fertilizer, and the other plant will be given uh, uh, homemade compost. Okay, um, but the important thing here is that the plants are paired together. Okay, so um, we're going to be looking for an answer choice that mentions the a paired procedure. In this case, a confidence interval for paired data. Okay. Uh, all right. So <clears throat> uh, going through the options, I would eliminate A because it says two sample. Um, I would eliminate C. And uh, E says the correct interval cannot be determined without the data. We could eliminate that choice as well. Okay, so um, we can narrow it down to B or D because they both say paired. And okay. now the difference between the two choices is that B talks about a Z interval and D talks about a T interval. <coughs> okay, um, now in AP stats, there's really two types of procedures that we do procedures for proportions. Let me write this down, proportions versus procedures for means, <clears throat> okay. All of the procedures that we do for proportions use um, uh, z-scores, right? So some, some type of normal distribution. All the procedures that we use for means use a t-distribution, <clears throat> okay. Now in this question, uh, let's see, and what does it say? Um, well, it doesn't say proportions or means, um, but she is going to be weighing the tomatoes, right? So she's going to be re recording numbers, quantitative data, and so she would summarize quantitative data with a mean, not with a proportion. <coughs> okay. Um, so the correct answer is going to be D, right? Because she would be analyzing the mean difference. Well, in either case, both choices say mu diff, so we know it's going to be about a mean. Um, and so we could eliminate B because uh, we do not use Z procedures for means. We only use T procedures for means. <clears throat>